In this tutorial I want to look at the most powerful of all the time effects which is the time remapping options. Now time remapping can be done in a couple of ways. You can either do it directly here in the timeline or you can actually do it up here in the effects controls. Now I'm going to turn off the audio for all these clips at the moment. I don't really want to be listening to the audio. And anyway when it comes to time remapping you will find that the audio does not come along for the ride. It stays where it is. And so if you make the clip a lot longer you're going to have no audio over the end. So it's really worth thinking about uh, what audio you're going to put under your video when you've finished. What music, what ambient sounds you're going to do, whether you need to create new audio to fill the gap that's going to be left if you do a slow motion pass. So just have that in mind when you're playing with time remapping. It's very powerful but it's not always going to have all the effects you want. Now if you notice up here in the video effects we've got one that says time remapping and you've got speed and you can open up speed and we've got a little line here that we can show what we're playing with time we can add keyframes so this is the little button that allows us to add remove keyframes up here and you notice that we've got add remove keyframes in the timeline however at the moment we're not going to be able to add keyframes for anything but opacity now I'm just gonna click between here here and make it a lot bigger so we can actually see what's going on so here's the clip and what we need to do is where this selection item is and if you can't see it you're going to need to zoom in until you can see the option and so you can drop down where it says opacity, opacity, drop down and choose time remapping speed notice that the line jumped because at the top for opacity it was at the top of its scale it was saying 100% fully opaque now this is basically in the middle and it's saying at this point we're going to play at 100% speed which is the standard speed or the creation speed and what we need to do is actually create keyframes to change things so we've got to go to the point where we want a keyframe to, to happen so I want a keyframe just as he jumps here so I'd like him to at this point actually start to go really slow now I can create a keyframe either here or I can create a keyframe up here I can either click this create keyframe button or I can hold the control key on a PC and the command key on a Mac and I get a little plus to add or alternatively you can collect the, the pen tool and the pen tool will also allow you to add keyframes so there's lots of different ways of doing it I'm gonna just click this button here and I've got a keyframe created notice I've also got a similar type of keyframe up here and look at the difference this is not a standard keyframe we are used to seeing little diamonds but this keyframe looks entirely different and there's a reason for that is because we're playing with time so what we're saying is up to this point we want the guy to go standard speed but at this point after the keyframe we want him to be going really slowly so what I can do is I can hover over the line either here or here doesn't matter where you're gonna do it and I can drag it down and as I drag it down it's telling me it's gonna play slower and slower and slower and slower and slower so I'm gonna go at 20 percent of the speed and let go now before this line he's playing at standard speed afterwards he's going to play at 20% so let me hit the space bar and see what happens that's going to play it and you can see it's playing it really slowly but it was instantaneous did you see that I'm going to play it again full speed instantaneously slow and sometimes it's nice to be able to go into something a lot slower than that to be able to easy ease or ease into the change the transition and to do that what you can do is click on one half of this two half keyframe so if I take the first half and I pull it apart you see I've got something here in the timeline which looks like a transition and that's exactly what it is it's going to go from full speed one side to slower speed the other now as you can see I've also got a handle in here let's just play this first before we get to that point so I can just hit the space bar play and then it's going to slow down it's going to come into it but I can get in here and I can choose these handles and I can change the shape of how this works so I can ease it differently at the moment that's sort of very linear but I can ease it as you can see it's more rounded here and more rounded there if I just take this up a little bit more perhaps you'll get a closer look at what's going on Let's just make this whole thing a bit bigger here there you go so you can see that we've got a change going on in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off that image so you don't even see it so just show name only there you go so we can actually see that we're changing how that transition is working it's very steep and straight at that point but now we're making it slowly change in and slowly change out so it's transitioning between one speed and another 
and if I want this to go even slower so I can pull it down to so just 5% or 9% and play it through hit the space bar and we're going to go through a slow transition going slower and slower until it's finally hit that speed at this point and when he hits the ground at this point just here notice by the way what I was saying about the audio it's not come for the ride I suddenly want him to go a lot quicker so what I might want to do is click the add keyframe button here and then take this one back up to at least 100% could even make him go say 120% now that's an instantaneous change perhaps I'll also want to pull that one out and just have a very slight change just a little transition there between the two so let's just zoom out a bit so we can see our change and let's just play it so he's going to run and going to go really slow going to go up in the air and then he's going to hit the ground and rush off quickly okay so we've done a change which is brilliant that's exactly what we wanted to achieve but we can do a lot more but before we do that I'm just going to show you one other thing you need to do when you are doing speed remapping of any sort you need to make sure that you take advantage of something called frame blending which allows you to have a much smoother playback you can either find it up in the clip menu up here or my advice is if in doubt always right click and we want to play with this clip so if you right click on the clip you'll notice that you've got one that says frame blend click on frame blend and it will give you a smoother transition it's up here in clip so I'll just show you clip and it's under video options make sure frame blend is clicked and then it'll just look that little bit more smooth when the final product comes out so we'll just play it through again it's going to blend frames together because it's got to create new frames when it goes slow to make up for the changes that have taken place and so we can see that so you can also get this sense of what's going on here so you can see that's at 100% that's much lower than 100% and then we've got a very steep and very quick change small transition to above 100% but what happens if say we want to have here a freeze frame we want him right at this point to stay there for a moment or two well this is how we do it we would create our keyframe and then we would hold the alt and control key on a PC the option and control key on a Mac so that's alt and control on the PC option and control on the Mac and drag those two apart and notice the keyframes I've got a sort of rounded edge side here and then a square one which is the equivalent of saying this is a hold keyframe nothing is going to happen so I've got a square one this side and a square one that side those are hold keyframes no change will take place and then I've got this standard other one and the reason it's done this is it allows me believe it or not to pull these apart it's not always the easiest thing in the world to grab the bit that you want but you can actually allow yourself to have a bit of a transition into the whole keyframe so I've got a small transition into a hold keyframe transition out of us a hold keyframe you can see I can actually play with the handles so at the moment he's going to start at 100% he's going to run down to 9% until the middle of his jump at that point we're going to have a hold keyframe as you can see nothing is happening and then slowly he comes back up again until suddenly he rushes off a lot quicker and if we want to we can make him rush off even faster so let's just play that through and see how it looks hit the space bar so standard speed slows down jumping in the air hold keyframe start slowly again and as soon as he hits the ground rushes off now what if we really like that and we want to see the whole thing backwards again to the beginning is that possible of course it is <laughs> this is advanced time remapping so what we can do is we can create a keyframe so it's a standard time remapping keyframe okay so now I've got the keyframe selected I'm going to hold the control key I'm going to hover over the keyframe and I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to get some feedback in the monitor above and as I pull it out more and more and more you'll see that the guy is running further and further backwards until I can get right back to the beginning oh the beginning of his jump say it's taking just before the jump now when I let go I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on it says right we've done all the bit we've done before now this area is playing backwards and as it plays backwards he's going to go all the way back to the place he started and then he's going to come all the way forward again this time at full speed until it finishes faster there so you still have the ability note to be able to pull these apart and I can pull this apart so going into and out of the time reverse 
So what I've done is I have eased in to the time reversal and then eased out of the time reversal. So let's play that. Okay, so this is where he finishes at full speed and then eases into a time reversal and then eases back out of a time reversal to finish off the run. So let's have a little play of that. So he's full speed and then he's going to ease back. You saw the nice ease. When he gets to the end he should ease back again. Eases back into the jump and then he's back on again until he finishes suddenly at 120% to get off screen. Okay, so you can see that time remapping is very powerful. In one clip, we've actually succeeded, let me just come back to the beginning here, with one clip we've actually succeeded in changing the speed. So we've gone from 100% down to 9% and we've eased the change. We've got a hold keyframe, that was to control alt the command option dragging the keyframe apart at this point and then we've eased those by pulling apart the resulting keyframes and then we've gone up to 120 percent and then we've time reversed it by creating another keyframe that we hold the control key on a PC, the command key on a Mac, pulled them out to the point whereby we wanted him to stop and then we ran through and we eased that change and we can ease that change even more if you want to get a real feel for how it looks. The timeline will keep stretching by the way because we're playing with time we're not adding footage we're just stretching it and so you'll see that when we actually get to these changes now these changes will be very slow so let's just play it through one more time so look at all the changes we've made with time remapping so normal speed slow down nine percent freeze frame ease out of the freeze frame staying at nine percent and then suddenly shooting up to 120 percent and now we're going to go backwards, going to ease backwards, getting faster and faster to these at full speed backwards, then going to ease forward again, a nice ease and then run at full speed and then we're going to shoot up to 120% and disappear off. Bang! All on one clip with time remapping. Have fun, it is great fun to play with.